so, so, so it's Afrikaners who are welcome here, yeah. not other races? It's Afrikaners specifically. Okay. Everybody who is an Afrikaner or identify as an Afrikaner. That's the weird thing about this ideology. You basically want to make an ethno state, a state where only your ethnic group and culture can actually live in harmony or whatever. But you're also just saying, oh no, only my people can come in, all other ethnic groups and cultures are rejected. Is that not racist? How can you justify that and say it's not being racist? Do you know about Oronia in South Africa? It's a town in South Africa, only for white people. They decided to make a town only for them to not allow black people and they worship or they idolize the previous president of South Africa, the one who created apartheid. Welcome to Orania, South Africa's only pure white town founded by Afrikaners for Afrikaners, the descendants of Dutch settlers who used to run the country under apartheid. Orania was built in the Northern Cape in 1991, just after the release of Nelson Mandela. While outsiders view it as a racist concept, people here say they just want the freedom to live according to their own cultural norms. They have their own money, as well as their own flag. Orania is built on privately owned land, which belongs to the Flightis Kroll Undela Block Company. Homeowners can become shareholders of the company, as well as members of the council, to decide on how their town should be run. So basically the town is a company. It's a land that is owned by a company of white people, of Afrikaans people, who only allow Afrikaans people to enter into that town. And they're completely legally allowed to in South Africa, but they don't like it when they're called racist. I am sitting here uh, with the leadership of uh, Orania. They run what is called the Orania Movement. It's a political think tank of this community, if you like. And let me introduce them to you now. To my immediate right is uh, Peter Krecha, and he is uh, the vice president of the Orania Movement. Then next to Peter in the middle there is uh, Mr. Peter Bischoff, and uh, he's the head of education and social development here. And then, of course, next to Peter is uh, Joost Stradom and he's the head of communications in the Orania movement. Peter Krucher, would you welcome a, uh, a black person who absolutely identifies, uh, who actually lives the Afrikaans culture? Well, you use the word Afrikaans now, and I have oh, said it, it's Sorry. Afrikaner. Yeah. Um, what we have done, just to prove that it's not about race, is people have applied from, from other European countries to come and live in Urania. Um, and it's white people I'm talking about. And they were declined rights because they were not identifying as Afrikaners. Um, so, you, you see, it is a process. I mean, it is self-identification. Self um, uh, uh, regarding a culture, um, but to prove that it's about the culture specifically um, lies in the in individual themselves. So they will have to go through a process where they actually come and say, but we really are uh, uh, Afrikaners, uh, look at how we do. And, and there is a process regarding this as well. So um, in effect, yes, they can apply, mm -hmm. but there is a process regarding this. And like I said, we have declined people from other Euro European countries um, because it's really, truly not about whiteness. It is about the Afrikaner culture. It's not only about whiteness, it's about whiteness and being Afrikaners. Isn't that right? You don't necessarily have to be Afrikaners to be white, but you have to be white to be Afrikaners. Um. <laughs> Mr. Posov, hey, let me ask you this question. I spoke earlier to young people and I asked them whether Orania is a place for them to come back to because job opportunities are either becoming scarce, Afrikaners who live with black South Africans in broader South Africa, uh, they seem to cry to say that there is this reverse discrimination with mm -hmm. policies like affirmative action, for example. Affirmative action does exist in South Africa because it's a black majority nation and the wealth is vastly held by the Africana people. Politicians have enacted policies in which black people have an advantage in the workforce 
And yes, it makes sense that Afrikaners people will feel unfair or disadvantaged when they go into university. Affirmative action exists in America as well, where black people or other ethnic minorities get advantages as well. Although, because white people still remain the majority, they still have a vast majority of the workforce. Um, I think there might be something of it um, among certain people, but I think in Iranian itself, it's a positive attitude. In other words, we are living a positive life, building a city. I think the whole focus is on that. You're not trying to make a city, you're trying to make a state. You're trying to make your own country. That's the weird thing about this ideology. You basically want to make an ethno-state, a state where only your ethnic group and culture can actually live in harmony or whatever. But you're also just saying, oh no, only my people can come in, all other ethnic groups and cultures are rejected. Is that not racist? How can you justify that and say it's not being racist? You made mention much earlier in the morning that other races are actually welcome in Orania, provided that they can assimilate into the Afrikaner uh, culture, heritage, way of living, basically. Uh, someone sitting out there is saying, what does this practically mean when you say assimilate? into the Afrikaans no. culture. Give us practical no. examples. Let, let, let's work on some context first. I think yeah. it's important to, to understand that, that what we specifically said is that Afrikaners are welcome in a town that is for Afrikaners, built by Afrikaners, and is created to preserve and build out Afrikaner So, so, so it's Afrikaners who are welcome here, yeah. not other races? It's Afrikaners specifically. Okay. Everybody who is an Afrikaner or identify as an Afrikaner. And uh, I think a problem... A colored person, would that uh, qualify? Just give me one second to finish my sentence, okay. please. Um, so so uh, what we spoke about this morning is about culture and uh, about how that fit into the narrative of the Urania idea. I think we've had this question a lot of times now and multiple times we responded that it's for Afrikaners in culture and I even said that Afrikaner is something that you must identify from your, from your insides, you know, you must know. Um, and it's a, it's a lot of things. It's a, it's how you feel about things and what you identify with and how you socialize. It's so weird in this day and age for people to still want their own segregated culture. I know it exists in Ethiopia with different ethnic groups and the ethnic federalism of the previous government. Honestly, you can understand why. It's the us versus them mentality. It's a tribe-minded idea of, oh, these people look like me, they sound like me, they talk like me, they have similar ideals to me, therefore I will let them be my friend over this person who doesn't look like me, who speaks a different language to me, who has different ideals to me. But at the end of the day, Afrikaners are going to steal from other Afrikaners. Black people are going to steal from other black people. This world isn't made for groups. It's made for individuals. And splitting people into groups to marginalize other people is just going to keep on happening until it's just you, your neighbor, and your family. Look at Somalia, for example. They're one ethnic group, and yet they're still one of the worst countries in the world to live in. All I know is you're entirely within your rights to be Afrikaners. You're entirely within your rights to embrace your culture and your tradition. You're even allowed to make a place where only your culture and tradition can go in and to, can live in. But the moment you start alienating other people from your group because they look different, that's where I draw the line. And yes, that is racism. There's no way around it.